Columbia, Houston, are you ready for the event? We're ready, Houston. Roger, Columbia. Administrator Golden is on the line. Mr. Golden, please call Columbia. Hello, Andy. How you doing? We're just fine, sir. How are you today? Oh, I'm very proud of that launch. Uh, just one last time, I know you've heard it from everyone, but uh, safety is going to be the first priority on operating the tether, right? Yes, sir. Uh, there's no doubt in our minds that uh, we're going to be able to keep uh, the orbiter safe and the crew safe, and uh, that is the utmost of our priority. Your rookies look pretty healthy. But I want to tell you, I'm very proud of you, and, and I want you to keep in mind the space frontier is risky, and success isn't always guaranteed. You know, this is not an operational flight. This is a research flight. And no matter what happens, I want to tell you I'm proud of you folks. I think you've done a wonderful job. Clearly, I want success. But, but the fact of the matter is we have to understand that when you go into space, there's always a risk. And uh, I think that you're very well prepared. And uh, I'll be sitting down on the ground and uh, watching. And uh, have a great flight. And once again, let me say how proud I am of you. Well, thank you very much, sir. If uh, we can't do this, nobody can. I agree. <laughs> Over and out. So long. Uh, Houston, Colombia, you want me to... Uh, I power off the computer. You want me to, power, to remove the power from the... A panel. Checking. Columbia, the computer powering off is the only step we need. Thank you. Andy, we still have the picture, yes. For those of us wondering what I was doing, this is uh, salt. That's our liquid salt. And this is uh, Philadelphia Soft Pretzels, a great new snack that we uh, brought on board. And on your next flight, you'll have to try these, Tom. They're pretty good. I agree. I'll just have to bring some mustard along with the pretzels. We got some of that downstairs. Okay. Columbia, Houston, big picture on the Smart Flex. Okay, uh, go with the big picture. Hello, Franklin. Uh, good to see you. We're um, pretty convinced now that we did have an auto core failover, and our reboot there with your help of the uh, DDCS has given us some more insight into that problem. What we're going to do is uplink a GMEM that will switch our TSS IO command path from payload one to the payload two MDM. Afterwards, we'll save some experiments and then get on with satellite activation. Another problem we'll have to deal with down the line is the DDCS low performance, but that can be dealt with uh, after we get into satellite activation. So it sounds like we can proceed and get back on the timeline a bit. 
The crew members are behind in their timeline, just about by two and a half hours or so after they've spent some time attempting to resolve some issues with a computer referred to as SmartFlex. That's a computer that processes data from the tethered satellite system. Apparently, the one of two cores on that satellite failed. It failed automatically over to the second core, and currently the right core of that SmartFlex computer is being used and appears to be operating as expected. That will allow satellite activation to begin for the tethered satellite system. The crew members also have been working with a second unit called the DDCS. That's a dedicated display unit that graphically displays information about the major components of the tethered satellite system. That unit is functioning, however, it is processing data at a very low level due to a low performance level. However, the crew is beginning to step through the timeline, getting back on track as they prepare to activate the tethered satellite system in anticipation of its deployment from Columbia on Saturday afternoon. Columbia Houston on satellite activation. We are going to ask you to step through satellite activation yourselves. We'll watch and uh, back you up. And so at some point in the procedure, we will do the DDCS swap we've discussed. 